Hi, and welcome to the Angler's Diary Fishing Blog. This is part four of my ultralight fishing adventures on the Shropshire Union Canal in Cheshire. Today, I thought I'd start with a look at the swimming fishing and what makes it such a good spot for catching predators. This is a staircase or double lock. The first attractive thing about this swim is the overflow from the upper canal. This brings both oxygenated water and natural food to the area I'm fishing. As well as the overflow, there are a couple of jetties here and a moored boat. Coming to the right, I've got this small area which is where I'm fishing. This is just out of the flow from the upper canal and the sluices on the lower lock gates. A perfect spot for predators like pike and perch to sit and wait. On the right of the swim, I have the lower lock gates and on the right just out of sight I have a bridge. This combination of features in one small area makes this an exceptional swim for the canal and with so many structures present it's a perfect place for pike and perch to ambush the next meal. Right now you're looking at me swim as the sluice gates have been opened to drain the lower lock. As you can see there's an awful lot of water coming through the sluice gates and this swim offers the chance for pike and perch to shelter from the worst of the flow. Before I cover the lure fishing I've done today, let's watch what happens to the swim as the lower lock fully empties and the canal boat passes through. As you can see the water gets very turbulent. Again this brings extra oxygen and natural food to the swim. On an apparently featureless canal this area really does look like an outstanding swim so let's take a look at how I got on today. First perch, nice little perch, first one of the day. This 
this is only a small swim and it only takes a gentle underarm cast to put my lure against the far wall. The jig head I'm using is really light, just 2 grams in weight and to give some perspective to this film, the far wall I'm dropping my lure against is just 20 feet away. That first perch you've just seen came so early I'd forgotten to turn the camera on. Fortunately, I didn't have to wait long for the next one. Lovely. After a couple of small perch, around six ounces each, the pike took over and this is where my luck turned bad for the day. The first pike I hooked fell off when it launched itself out of the water close in. The second pike I hooked I managed to get right into the edge. I got as far as getting my fingers into the groove under the pike's chin but a last ditch blast of power from the pike's tail and the hook pulled again. Would you class that as a fish caught? Myself I think it's a fish lost because I didn't bank with fish and unhook it myself. Perhaps you think differently. If I was fishing for marlin that would officially be a catch. Feel free to leave a comment below if you'd count that fish for yourself. I'll not be counting it but I'd be interested to hear how many would or wouldn't class that as a fish caught. My third pike managed to throw the hook too, although I didn't get this one anywhere near the bank. By now you can see a pattern emerging and despite a good start with the perch, it's turning out to be not such a good day. I changed jig head after my third loss, but by this time it was too late and my session was nearly over. I did manage another perch on the new hook. It was the same size as the other two, about 6 ounces. That was it for the day, so part 4 has been mixed. I've got plenty of bites but I would have liked to have landed those three pike. Because I'm generally mobile on the canal I like to chin my fish out where I can but in the case of this swim I might use a landing net from now on. Had I have used a landing net from the start I'd probably have landed two of those three pike. I'll continue to chin fish out when I'm covering lots of ground because I find it easier but there's definitely something to be said for having the net ready and I've paid the price for that today. Until next time, happy Christmas and all the best for the new year. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for future updates. So until next time, tight lines.